Man, how you feeling? Oh, Amazing. You're gonna have a good feeling tonight. Sometimes I forget how peaceful it is outside of the city. The sun's coming up. I just heard a cow moo. The birds are chirping. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, my name's Chris and I am currently 10 weeks out from a marathon that I'm running in October. Long story short, I failed a marathon last year and now I'm running it back. And today is a long run workout and I'm deciding to run it out on a track. Normally, I have these videos that are a little bit more thought out but I'm completely thrown off. My life has been absolutely crazy. And I'm pretty much just sending this video with no plan whatsoever. I just know that I've been doing really well lately on YouTube, so I don't wanna let this fire die. But my workout today is technically 9.5 miles, but I think I'm gonna go 15. I think eh, I'm gonna go 15. <laughs> So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it out on a track. And the reason why I'm doing it out on a track is two reasons. One, track workouts are always great when you're doing a marathon prep. And two, I'm able to bring all my stuff. So I have my electrolytes right here. I have my camera stuff. That is what we have going down today. And I need to get into this run because it's currently 6.30 and I'm normally on my runs at uh, six, so I'm 30 minutes behind, so let's get this going. This is 100% needed today. Big shout out to C4. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling very confident with where I'm at in this marathon training block. You know, going out and running 14 miles on Saturday, the last two miles absolutely sucked, but I felt confident. I felt like I was building momentum and then having a rest day on Sunday where I just chilled and then yesterday I got home from work and I was just like, fuck it. This week is a deload week, but I'm just feeling the urge to go and run 10 miles. And that's just what I did. I went and ran 10 miles and those 10 miles were absolutely fantastic. They weren't easy, 
but they weren't hard. I just felt confident throughout that whole entire run and I just pushed myself and going and having pretty much back to back days of long runs just makes me feel very confident with where I'm at in this marathon training block. I remember last year when I ran 10 miles for the first time and I was just dead. And now where I'm at running 10 miles with ease and just feeling confident throughout the whole entire run and not feeling that I have to stop and, or like I'm doing something really hard just makes me feel and know that I'm heading in the right direction for my race in October. So technically this week is a deload week, even though I'm tempted to go and run 10 miles again today, I don't think I'm going to. I just need to remember that I don't wanna get hurt and I just need to continue to build. So this week is a deload week and I'm just going to be chilling. But tomorrow I'm doing something really cool that is gonna help me recover from all the runs that I've been doing the past nine weeks. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever found yourself in a weird situation before where you just don't know how you got there, but you kind of just have to push through it and just go on with your day afterwards. That was me yesterday. So as you guys saw, I did some recovery. I did the compression boots and I did a cryo freeze. I've never done compression boots before and it was absolutely fantastic. Like if you're a runner or athlete or anything, I highly recommend that. I felt so good. I wanted to fall asleep and I was really upset when it was done. However, after that, I did cryo freeze. If you have never tried that before, it's fantastic. This was technically my third time doing it, but I haven't done it in about like a year. So last year when I did it, pretty much what you do is you strip down and the other two times I was in my boxers, long socks and gloves. So pretty much you don't cryo freeze, burn anything important, if you know what I mean. So I had the guy just walk me through it, like what I should do before I got into the cryo freeze, just because I haven't done it in such a long time. And he pulls out of a drawer, three socks. He says, okay, so these two socks are for your feet and the other sock, well, you know where that one goes. And I knew what he was talking about. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And he looks at me straight face and he goes, it's for your boys. <laughs> and I had a game time decision to make. Am I going to strip down and put a sock over it? Or am I gonna go in my boxers? And I was like, well, can I just go in my boxers? And he said, do you want the maximum effects? And I was like, well, yeah. And he was like, put it over your boys. So I put it over my boys. <laughs> and it just made the whole thing awkward. And I was just holding it. And yeah, I find myself in these weird situations a couple times throughout my life. And that was, that was one of them. <laughs> I'm the Wolverine. All right, I bet the last thing you guys expected for this video was to see a Deadpool and Wolverine video review. Now, one thing that you guys might not know about me is I'm a superhero nerd. For the past, well, not the past four years, but there was a four year span where I went and saw every Marvel, DC, any superhero movie on release day. Yes, I even saw Morbius and The Flash. I think I broke that streak on Captain Marvel 2. Anyways, that's neither here or there. Deadpool and Wolverine, I give it a 12 out of 10. It was absolutely crazy. I will say 
I feel like the older I get and just the amount of superhero films that I've seen, I feel like they're all the same, but the action and the surprises is definitely a sign off to all the Fox characters and everything like that. I'm not going to spoil anything because if you can make it to going to see the movie without getting anything spoiled, props to you because it's worth it. But that's neither here or there. The movie is so good and it's really cool seeing Wolverine and Deadpool on the same screen. This is things I used to talk about with my friends of like how cool it would be and how it probably would never happen. And I feel like this point going forward, Marvel is only going to be releasing really good films. Unlike in the past two years where they've just released some terrible content. But that is the video. I feel like this video was all over the place and I just haven't had a lot of time to film or do lots of things. But pretty much next week on is a, I'm gonna call it a death march until my marathon on October 6th. And I'm pretty much just no lifing training. So that is the next 10 weeks of my life. And anytime I can do some fun things where whether I'm going to get cryotherapy or doing a Deadpool 3 review, I like to incorporate that in my videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the craziness and randomness of this video compared to some of my other videos where it's just me running. But I'm going to end the video here. I have a chill weekend plan, so I'm gonna be doing that. And I have a very special shoe that is coming in the mail for next video. So be prepared for that. But that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.